start with the native tools. Now, a question I get asked often is, should we use native tools or third-party tools? Now, what I will start with here is, if you're looking for a tool, a one tool to rule them all, I'll tell you right now, it's a unicorn. It does not exist. In most cases, you are going to revert back to the native tools for something. Now, I say this, this is not across the board. It will really depend on the type of tool, what you're going to be using that tool for. So if it's you know a tool for provisioning, it's a tool for management, or is a tool for cost optimization, that will vary. But my general advice is start with the native tools. And the reason that's important is because if you start with the native tools, you're able to understand what are the features and capabilities of the native tools that you're using on a regular basis. So that when you do decide that you need a third party tool, you have a good inventory of those features that are important to you. And you're able to assess that third party tool on whether or not they have those specific features. Because the third party tools are never going to have feature parity with the native tools. They're never going to have the same level of integration that the, the native tools have. So for the most part, you're always going to revert back to the native tools, but starting there is going to be crucial because again, it gives you that experience. And then when we layer on the third party tools, you're able to have a really good balance of what the third party tool gives you versus what you need to go back to the native tools to do. So always start with the native tools. That's a really good place to start.